was in the hospital for four months or so, and then in bed for another nine. And then I had to relearn how to walk. And Tore the ACL, MCL in the right knee, deep vein thrombosis in the calf, broke my pelvis in half, tore the bladder in half, broke seven vertebrae, collapsed my lungs, broke some ribs, concussion. It hurt a lot. So, uh, you kind of skipped over maybe the most important part of missing half your leg? Oh, yeah. I'm uh, missing the lower half of my left leg, um, basically the calf down. So, now I'm riding bikes without a leg. So, everything I do is one-footed. Once my legs started feeling good enough to try to ride, because I couldn't stay on the pedal, like my foot would just fly right off. And what I ended up testing out was uh, putting a piece of metal in my shoe. And then what we did is built a magnetic pedal so I can stay on. My foot generally doesn't blow off. Every time I ride, I don't even know if my foot's on the pedal. I, not, am I gonna pull a trick? I'm going, is my foot on the pedal? I have no idea. The only time that I know my foot's on the pedal is when I roll away and I go, I landed it, okay. Everything is brand new. Like you have no idea what's gonna happen and every trick is like, uh, completely sketchy. Ugh. Ow, that actually hurt. What? Well, Getting hurt now is just a, a rougher deal. It's like, you know, every, just like everybody else, three quarters of my body, I get hurt just like a normal person. But when I hurt this, it's like, I'm done. I'm done for a month. And I could be done forever if I break it bad, so. pulled out of the prosthetic leg. Gosh. The reason I need the um, the brace is because when my knee's in here, I can't control hyperextension. I can't control left and right. It's just like a wobbly mess. And like my kneecap feels like it's gonna break every time. Like I was trying to relearn flips without a leg brace and it hurt, it hurt a lot, so. Um, so you, you do a lot of the work with these guys. I mean, you're part of the, you're helping them design these things. Yeah. So explain to me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, the guys at Hangar, um, Sanjay and Ryan, uh, have been really cool helping me, you know, giving me the tools to help them come up with some new stuff. Like, this whole bolt system is brand new. It's never been done before. So now I can have a brace. It took 28 surgeries, a fake leg, a magnetic pedal, 15 pair of Etni shoes to get it right, and then a brace from CTI to start getting better at bikes, to get to where the level I'm at. And the level I'm at is relearning how to ride bikes. Up, down, got his hustlers. The Bowery got his bumps. 42nd Street got big Jim a walker He old shooting son of a gun It's like all brand new It's like it, I'm 13 years old Trying to figure out how to ride again I've kind of achieved my end goal already Because it was just to get back to the lifestyle You know, going to the skate park and hanging out You don't speed into the wind You don't um, acting is my full-time job. I'm in War Flowers with Christina Ricci and Tom Berenger. I did a film called Camel Spiders and Piranaconda, which are sci-fi creature features. I just did Dolphin Tail. Uh, you know, I did acting before I got hurt. You know, I did a Nickelodeon tour. I think you remember that. When I came back, you're like, did you get slimed? I'm like, no. I'm still getting there. It's just a different game. If your friend or family is 
hurt and in the hospital, go visit them. It makes a big difference. Go see them. Even if you think that it's weird that you're going to go see them, doesn't matter. Have them tell you to go away. Don't think that they want you to. It makes a big difference if you go, so go. Kurt's one of those patients that you, you love to work with, you hate to work with, because it, no matter what we put on him, he's going to break you. <laughs> I'm using this to my advantage. Sometimes you don't even have your leg anymore. And you have something else attached to it. And you still come back and ride. That's a whole different meaning, dude. It's, it's crazy shit. Kurt kills it. I'm still going to see him riding this shit. It's amazing. <laughs>